Hello, dear students. Today we start our new course on classical mechanics. I designed this course for BS physics students. We will start from the basics and will then move on to the most classically difficult problems. Let's start with some basics first. Mechanics. Mechanics is the study of physical objects either at rest or in motion due to the action of forces. It is subdivided into three parts. The first one is statics, the second one is kinematics, and the third one is dynamics. In statics, we study the objects at rest are in constant motion under the effect of forces in equilibrium. Time factor has no role in statics. In kinematics, we study motion of objects without considering cause of motion. And time factor has very important role. Examples are speed, velocity, and so on. Where in dynamics, we study motion of objects with considering the cause of motion. Examples, force, momentum. Please note, dynamics is based on the concept of force. Physical objects have three common states gas, fluid, and solid. Depending on the medium, the mechanics studies are often named by their medium. For example, gas dynamics, in which we study gases in motion that is often leading to statistical mechanics and thermodynamics. And uh, the second one is uh, fluid mechanics, in which we study of all fluids under the static and dynamic situations. And the third one is the solid mechanics in which we study the deformation and motion of solids. There are so many causes of motions, for example, force, movement, impulse, and power. Let's have a look at the brief history of classical mechanics. The fundamental physical laws and concepts were developed over the 17th century by Galileo, Newton, and so on. The Galileo actually was the Italian mathematician who worked on motion under gravity, including motion on inclined planes, projectile motions. And uh, the Newton, who was the English mathematician, presented his three laws of motions along with the universal law of gravitation. Then uh, in the history, we have seen the name of Leibniz, who was a German mathematician, who developed the present day notation for the integral and differential calculus. Euler was the next, who was Swiss mathematician. He presented his uh, famous Euler's laws of motion, which are actually the extension of Newton's laws of motion for point particles and rigid body problems. Then the Lagrangian, who was French mathematician, discovered method of solving differential equations known as variation of parameters. Hamilton, in, uh, who was an Irish mathematician, contributed to the development of dynamics and uh, algebra. All alternative frameworks presented by Newton, Leibniz, Euler, Lagrange, and Hamilton make up all together what is generally now called a classical mechanics. Here is a, a diagram showing uh, how can we differentiate between uh, different mechanics. For example, classical mechanics deals with the motion of large objects and those large ob objects uh, have small speeds. Now, if uh, object has a smaller size, near to or less than 10 power minus 9 meter, classical mechanics can't explain that object's motion. Now the new mechanics called quantum mechanics plays a role to study the motion of such small objects. And uh, if the speed of the object approaches to the speed of light, that is 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second, a relativistic mechanics comes up with the solutions. And uh, the relativistic mechanics uh, is uh, compatible with the special relativity and uh, general relativity. 
Special relativity treats the problems uh, involving inertial frame of reference. And uh, general relativity deals with uh, problems involving non-inertial frame of reference. That's all for uh, the today's lecture. Uh, for the second part of part of these lectures, please uh, stay tuned. Uh, and uh, please also subscribe to my channel for uh, upcoming videos. Thank you so much.